Hey guys, so it's been a minute since I made my last video essay. It's been a while. I don't usually make video essays that often. But when I do, it's usually because I've had something on my mind for a minute. And I was thinking like, man, maybe I should craft it into some sort of video statement somewhere along the line. So I'll, I, that's kind of what I'm doing right here. But basically, I've come here to talk about modern gaming. Now, I know everybody is like, oh, modern gaming is bad, this or that. Like, you know, no, every every man on the planet and his mother and his grandmother could tell you that modern gaming is not in the greatest state that's ever been in. How did we possibly uh, obtain this level of, I guess, George Orwell's status, right? Like, how do we get to this point where modern gaming is like such a weird money, 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 money space? Money. Spend your money. Hey, guys, you want to spend money. some money on this money. and get some cosmetic money. items? Money. So we can trace this back to a ground zero of Event. This is where I'm going to place the ground zero event. Let's go back to 2018. You're a 16 year old, 15 year old, 17 year old, like whatever, right? You're hanging out and your friends are like, dude, you try this game called Fortnite? And they release in 2018 a battle pass. Fortnite's battle pass ruined modern gaming. That is the key event. Now, most people will think like, oh, Fortnite created the battle pass back in 2018, right? Like that's the most common knowledge. But when I searched this up on Google, when I was doing research for this video, it told me that Dota 2 was the one that created, like they're just giving Valve some more points here. And so Dota 2 in 2013 created this thing called the Compendium. And people are calling this the first battle pass. The Compendium was just spending money to guess what esports team was gonna win. like by individual player and i mean eventually you added like you know things to get like items and game cosmetics and stuff but and challenges but it was ba in the beginning it was basically just that so i think that's complete bullshit to me i mean tf2 even had like a similar thing you paid money and you got to do contracts but it wasn't like you know the one to 100 level based thing like with that logic you can consider the paying for the operations in counter-strike as like battle passes at that point right so let's be real let's just be realistic here when you think battle pass you think fortnite fortnite the one who did that they shot that shit into the stratosphere right like no average person heard anything about no damn battle pass until that shit came out and you know at the time the concept was like kind it was like kind of cool you know it was like you pay some money to get to, to unlock over 100 items in, in battle pass they even had the in get the v bucks they had the v bucks in the battle pass so you could theoretically unlock every single battle pass for the rest of time so long as you completed each one of them I bought the season three battle pass when it came out back in 2018 and I've been able to get every single Fortnite battle pass since then. And you know, it includes some extra V bucks in there too. So I've been able to gather up quite a bit over my uh, time on Fortnite. Now this does sound cool, right? Like on the surf surface level, this should sound pretty cool. But then you realize like, wait a minute, isn't this just like normal video game level progression, but behind a paywall? That'll never work. They'll never do that. Well, I mean, it's worked a little too well. Fortnite was completely on the top of gaming throughout the late teens. They, they've maintained some reasonable relevancy well into the 20s that we've seen so far. So clearly, it's working quite well. Since the success of Fortnite, every massive online game has slowly imported a battle pass into their games. Like, after Fortnite, logically, of course, Call of Duty started making them, you know, the latest Battlefield included them, Halo, Hearthstone. Apex just tried to split their battle pass in half and call it two battle passes. Overwatch became Overwatch 2 just to change their formula from loot boxes into battle pass. Even fucking Pokemon Unite has a battle pass. Some games started making them like not straight lines, you know, like I don't know what the fuck Siege was doing with this shit. Modern Warfare 2 started giving you a little bit of the illusion of choice towards the end there. I mean, you know, basically Fortnite has caused some irreversible damage to modern gaming, more so in the sense of how live service games choose to develop their experience. Halo, for example, they have made all of the cosmetic content in the game revolving around these passes. A bigger problem I have with Halo is there's no rush, you know what I mean? Like most games when they have a battle pass, they use this psychological FOMO tactic, you know, where you're like, oh, I don't want to miss out. But in Halo, they were like, oh no, season one is all the Halo Reach armor. How am I going to game if I don't have my OG Spartan armor from Halo Reach what I did back then? Which, and they didn't even have all the armor when it came out anyways, but, you know, just like, oh man, what am I going to do? Instead of like making it a limited time like most games there's no rarity you can just do whichever halo battle pass you want at the time 
which I think is completely stupid. There's no rarity. Like Fortnite or COD, it's like you're either there or you're not and get fucked. You know, it's like, do you have the season three John Wick skin? I do not think you do. Do you have the season whatever the fuck grave skin from, you know, I don't think you do. Do you have the ghost skin from season two? I'm maxed, fully maxed out? I don't think you do, you know? But in Halo, it's like, oh bro, you have that? Oh, well you just like bought the, that battle pass whenever you wanted to, right? You don't have to associate it with being there at the time. That's one of the reasons why having a season is kind of cool that I will say is that it's like, oh, I was there, man. You should have been there, man. Season four, dude, you should have been the dude when the meteor hit Dusty Divot, man. You should have been there. Or, and you know, some of the other games like events where it's like, yeah, you could have been there. I mean, like, I don't think the Modern Warfare 2 Graves shit was anything to really be like, oh, I was there for that. But you know, like, I don't know, they had fucking Godzilla in their original Modern Warfare Warzone. That was pretty funny. It, like, it isn't really a bad thing, but without the symbolic fire lit under your ass, like, why would I do it? But this leads me to my next point. Everything is in seasons now because of this. When does a season end? You know, it's just a random span of three or four months until they decide that the battle pass ends. I mean, Halo's first battle pass was like six months. And another problem is it, it also leads into this issue where, you know, they decide the battle pass would be playable and we're gonna hold all the content till the, until the start and midpoint of each season. For a lot of games, this slows down the content to a halt, you know, like, and it highly encourages developers to drip feed content to us, which I, I and I'm gonna go back to an example, which I've talked about before, Modern Warfare 2 had so many maps unreleased that we could have played, but no, you know, we're gonna hold it off till the expansion and then guess what let's make the fucking expansion the next call of duty because we have no integrity and we just you know go back on our point that we said we were gonna do but that's 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 beside the point you know season cut games into periods that was the main point that i was saying dudes be like hey yo season eight was peak bro nah dude chapter two season four was the best um, actually, season three was peak Fortnite. Like, bro, what the fuck? Although, I will say Fortnite is probably the biggest culprit of this because their maps change and vary quite a bit between the seasons. But games like Siege or Hearthstone, I can't really say much changes other than, like, new operators or new cards. Maybe a new map or two. Like, either way, battle passes and seasons have kind of ruined modern gaming to a point where it's like, I don't even know what they're gonna do now. It's almost to a point where I miss loot boxes. They open my boxes! Especially in Overwatch, with loot boxes, you were able to like actually just get stuff by playing the game. You, know, you were able to like play for a bit and then you get a loot box and it's like, ooh, what do I get? What do I get? I feel like maybe there's a change in the wind coming, you know? Like loot boxes were popular for like let's say like five or six years, right? They were they were dominating the teens for a while. The battle pass has been going strong for like, I mean, we're at kinda at like six, seven-ish years of like straight battle pass gaming. So like, I'm starting to think like maybe things will start to change soon, you know, like, like maybe some gaming company will create some new pay to play system with progression locked behind paywalls that'll make you miss the battle pass, you know. Helldivers kind of created an interesting thing with their battle pass where you can grind the currency in game and just get the battle pass. Helldivers has been doing a pretty good job at that. But other than that, like I, you know, without the battle pass, there's not really any in-game con you know you put 20 30 hours of hell divers and you basically have everything outside of the battle pass pretty much unlocked and a lot of the content is locked behind the battle pass which luckily you can you can grind in the game so that's why i'm saying it's like a good battle pass but i don't know like maybe some gaming company will create some new pay to pay system or pay to play pay to pay you pay to pay system you know yeah there you go they'll make that so there's two pays pay pay and then that's locked behind the battle so you have to complete the battle pass to play the new game and then you get to pay again to play i don't fucking know maybe that's my point maybe they'll make something like that but yeah i think that's the end of the video guys i'm not really sure like that's pretty much all i had to get off my chest i just really just really wanted to say something about it and i'm you know i'm, I'm not the first at all to say anything about modern gaming and how bad modern gaming is but that's pretty much it, the video. So, I mean, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. You know, we're on the road to 600 subscribers. I want to try to get to 1,000 subscribers before 2025. And, you know, we could probably do that. We got a good amount of months here if we really start gaming the YouTube system. So, um, subscribe if you like it. You know, I upload pretty much every week. So, yeah. But anyways, I got to get back to uh, AFK farming and Fortnite. I got to hit 200 in the battle pass.